go back to that question. How, how are you being countercultural? Great story. How about, how about you? Uh, for me, I mean, it sounds kind of weird. Not weird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to be open and honest, um, I'm open with my friends about this with all my coworkers. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll s I say it a lot when they ask me. Um, I'm very open about not. I, I'm not gonna have sex before marriage. Mm -hmm. With that, I'm very particular with that, and a lot of people in the industry like find that offensive. Even they're like, they get offended, they get angry at that. Um, I don't want to be that artist that flirts with you, that try and get, that tries to get your number, um, and, and not cursing and, and like I've I've rejected some jobs. I'm not tooting my own horn, just to be honest about it, because you know I, I don't want to host an event that's that's promoting alcohol, for example. That's just my one of my personal convictions. I don't Great feel like I should be walking in that in that. Yeah. In that area, and a lot of people have their own opinions about that, but mine is just I really want to stay away. Mm. Um, and things like that, even in terms of the way I speak, I, I would I would hope that some younger artists would look at that as uh, uh, something to look to, yes. rather than to turn away from that. Yeah. Um, I'm open about not doing drugs mm. uh, as well, so um, yeah, I think that's the way. Yeah, I, I, what, I, what I love about what you guys share is there could be someone who's a younger director, a younger real estate agent, a younger actor, and they could look up to you and say, oh, it is possible. Mm -hmm. It is possible to be to be a more relational. It is possible to, to stand up for it. It's, it is possible not to not to, not to curse every every single time or not, not to sneak around. So I, I love how what you're doing right now, I believe it, it can impact a lot of people who are younger than you. Yes, magandang umaga, magandang umaga mga kamewari. This is some kind of uh, clarification siguro to at uh, napakagandang uh, bigyang tiin po itong uh, sinabi ni Edward kahapon sa Real FM Talk Show. Uh, it's about... Uh, accusations tungkol kay Edward. Ang daling sabihin ng tao na ganito si Edward, ganyan si Edward without even uh, checking uh, their evidences uh, many times. Madaling sabihin na uh, babaero siya, na manluloko siya, condo uh, boy siya. Pero, kilalang kilala niya ba si Edward uh, first and foremost? Gaano ko ka, nyo kakilala ang isang Edward Barber para i-judge nyo ng ganyan kabilis. Alalahanin nyo kung uh, mahilig kayong magbasa ng Bible. Those na nangahamak ng tao, uh, nang aapi ng tao, naninira ng tao, ilang folds ba ang uh, wrath ng Lord sa inyo? Ilang folds ang punishment ng Panginoon sa inyo? Since this is... Uh, a talk about Christianity. So, uh, panahon para manilay-nilay tayo mga bashers and uh, mga haters. Kasi, uh, hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon, meron tayong uh, chance na pag-isipan yung mga kilos natin, mga sinasabi natin, mga ginagawa natin sa ating kapwa-tao. So, uh, yeah, uh, he said, hindi siya yung tao na... Uh, gustong gawin yung sex before marriage. Hindi siya yung tao na nagda-drugs. Actually, he even said he rejected uh, hosting gigs na medyo opposite sa pinaninawala niya sa buhay like uh, promoting alcohol or even uh, projects na medyo ayaw niya. Kasi nga, may, pina may paninindigan nga itong si Edward Barber. So, sino ka para i-judge si, si, si Edward Barber? Can you imagine the feeling ng nanay na mabasa lahat ng mga bashing and hating ninyo na about sa kanyang anak? Just imagine anak mo anak mo ay ginaganya ng kapwa mo na hindi man ikaw kilala ng kapwa ang tao mo. Uh, hindi niya alam kung anong pinagdadaanan mo sa buhay. At para i-judge mo straight away ang anak ko or anak mo. O i-judge ni Nino man ang anak mo or anak ko. Diba parang uh, kung ikaw ang parent, parang uh, uh, ang sakit-sakit na parang gusto mong uh, 
uh, protection ng yung anak mo pero wala kang magawa dahil sa bashing na wala naman baseless walang basihan and yes uh, grabe yung pinagdaanan ni Edward it's not just one year I think more than one year na yung bashing at hanggang ngayon ay nandiyan pa at least now kinlaro ni Edward this is his chance na hindi naman related to sa love team hindi related tong uh, 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 talk show about relationship pero uh, it, dito niya inopen up kasi nga ito ay Christian na uh, Christianity talk show dito niya inopen up kung ano talaga siya yung sino talaga siya so ngayon ano pa ba ang uh, uh, basihan mo na ibash mo sa Edward uh, kung kung hate mo talaga sa Edward yung bang ang daming words na gusto kong itapon sa mga bashers and haters kasi nga ang daming uh, words na nabasa ko sa aking comment section na hindi ko ma-protect-protect si Edward but I think this is the right time for me to protect Edward like just imagine ilagay mo yung uh, sarili mo sa sarili ni Mami Kathy or ni Daddy Kevin kung ano ang uh, mararamdaman mo kaya yun lang yung uh, point dito I believe Edward is not the kind of person na dahil lumaki siya sa ibang bansa ay pwede niyang gawin yung mga ginagawa ng mga tao sa ibang bansa yung paano sila mabuhay and and to think na he says hindi niya gagawin yung sex before marriage napakasarap po sa tenga and uh, my mate is so lucky Edward is thinking that way and sana lang at the, at the end uh, magiging sila man o hindi uh, ma-realize ng mga haters and bashers ni Edward yung mga mali nila kasi po alalahanin niyo marami na nangyayari sa mundong ibabaw may mga bulkan na hindi pa hanggang sa ngayon nag-stop sa pagputok like La Palma at meron na namang bago uh, may nakita na naman akong bago sa morning so maybe baka bukas wala ka ng pagkakataon na manilay-nilay at humingi ng tawad sa mga kasalanan mo kaya Pag-isipan mo mga bashers and haters ni Edward. Bahala ka kung ano gusto mong gawin. Ituwid mo man ang gusto mong ituwid. Pero, that's my challenge for you. Kaya mo bang baguhin ang buhay mo? And Edward, I salute you for being honest this time. And for being straightforward this time. And, uh, uh, you grow na talaga kasi kaya mo nang... Uh, uh, ilabas kung ano nasa puso at isipan mo. And this is my update about Edward Barber. I'm so proud of this boy. And uh, of course, araw-araw natin sinusundan ang buhay nila ni Maymay. For the meantime, ito muna yung ating update. Uh, magandang umaga po at uh, ingat po kayong lahat kung saan man kayo naroon ngayon. And uh, stay safe and stay protected. Alexander Lex Jules, magandang umaga.